Hello dancers, I'm Jojo from Ballet with Jojo and Adult Ballet Collective and today I wanted to talk to you about how to choose your very first ballet flats. To be honest, the best advice would be to go into store, actually physically try some on so you can feel what they feel like so that you can make an educated and informed decision. But I thought this video would be fun to kind of show you some different types of ballet shoes. I've got three different brands here with me today. I've got MDM, Block and Merlet. So I'll talk you through the different shoes within the different brands as well. Before we go any further, it would mean a lot to me if you liked, comment and subscribed on this video um, just because I am trying to grow this YouTube channel and it's super fun for me to make these videos especially while I'm in lockdown at the moment. Alright, starting from the very 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 beginning, these are my first ballet shoes ever. So these were the Block Pro Light 2 in the leather. These are a very simple split sole shoe, sort of very traditionally made I would say. I have to say that they don't come with the elastic sewn on, so that's an interesting thing. You'll have to do that yourself. It's a great little learning experience. They've got an elastic drawstring. Um, they're just leather all round and split sole, so they don't have a full sole. There's a gap in between there. Usually the sole's made of like kind of like a suede, so it's not so slippery on the floor. Um, it's also got this suede sole on the inside, and then it's also lined with canvas. Interestingly, it is quite a heavy shoe because it's got so many materials um, making it up. I wouldn't say I love them, I wouldn't say I hated them. These were a great shoe for me to start off in and to be honest, I feel like I just didn't know any better. So yeah, they are probably a great shoe for beginners, um, had a great time in my journey. And like I said, I didn't know better. I didn't know that you could get shoes that made your feet look better. <laughs> As an adult ballet dancer, I don't have great feet. So it's always nice when um, shoes look aesthetic on your feet. So moving on, I'm actually gonna go on to the next shoes that I had that kind of changed my journey a lot. So these are the MDMs. I believe they're called the Intrinsic Profile 2.0s. Um, they are a canvas shoe. I've never worn a canvas shoe before. And it's not just a canvas shoe, it's a stretch canvas. So the fabric is actually really stretchy. This is actually kind of a mid weight shoe as well. Like, they're actually heavier than the block, but they don't feel that heavy on your feet because these shoes have inbuilt arch support. So when I tried these shoes on, I was so surprised at how. The stretch canvas hugged my feet. Um, the elastics were pre-sewn on, so that was really good. There's no drawstring, but um, there's elastic in and around the shoe there, so it still hugs your feet. It's not like it's going to fall off. Mine are clearly falling apart because they're well worn. There's sort of holes at the end. They're coming to the end of their life, but I love these. Love, love, love these shoes. You can also just chuck them in like a wash bag and put them in the washing machine. Really, really good. So. Oh, and of course these are split sole as well. But yes, so like I said, there's this amazing neoprene arch support in there which really hugs your feet. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to do a little try on on what each shoe looks like so you can see them next to each other kind of thing. Um, and hopefully that will help you with your decision making, just seeing what they look like on my feet. The only thing about this shoe that I found interesting for me is Firstly, the colour is really, really, um, really yellow and really pale, so it's like theatrical pink. But also, um, the vamp of the shoe, so the, the front part here, is quite long. I've got pretty short toes and really small feet, so ultimately it kind of hugs my foot a lot and it doesn't make my feet look that pretty. Still pretty, but not as pretty as it could look in some other shoes. So. These are the MDMs in the stretch canvas. Talking about MDMs, I've also got them in a leather version. And actually they came, MDMs come with their own shoe bag, which is a nice little, um, nice little thing to note as well. So some shoes will come with their shoe bag so you can store them in your dance bag. Other shoes like the block will just come in like a little plastic thing and it'll tell you like the size and stuff on there. So, these are the MDMs, I actually don't know what these ones are called, but they're a leather version. Does it say it in there? No, it just tells you what it is. So they're a leather version and they, they have basically a half version of that full pink sole on the inside, if you can see it there. Okay, these are also split sole here. 
and they've got like these interesting details. So this is quite a heavy shoe because you can see how much detail and work has actually gone to the inside of the shoe. Um, I love these shoes for intensives. I find that they are absolute lifesavers when you are dancing for long hours basically. Um, and that's because, I mean, these are quite broken down but there's actually like a little bit of padding in the top and in the heel of the shoe which is super helpful. You can see also how sturdy that heel is on the shoe so it really does hug your feet. So if you have the chance to try some MDMs, I think they are really, really, really great for adult ballet beginners. There's all this unique technology in them um, and I just think they work really well for your feet. They're really, really supportive. They might not be the prettiest shoe but I don't know, I do love these for classes. For performances, I might not wear them because I might want something a little bit more flattering on my feet. So, talking about flattering, I'm gonna move on to the block performer. I've got these in the sand color and in their theatrical pink, which I haven't really worn because the color, I just find it's really light. So the sand color is um, a shoe that I wear a lot. And it's because it really, really blends it with my skin tone. And so when I'm not wearing tights, which is a lot of the time, these, I feel, look really, really good on my feet. Um, you'll see when I film and show you all the previews of what they look like on. But this vamp of the shoe is like, there's much less fabric. So it actually just makes your feet look prettier. So the opening is much bigger. These also come with the elastic sewn on already. I guess if you don't like the elastic sewn on in crisscross, you can always like cut it and just resew it however you like it. I always like mine sewn crisscross. I think it just hugs the foot better, hugs, hugs the top of the arch better. Um, of course, these are split sole as well. All my shoes are split sole. I think they just look better. Um, there is debate saying getting a full sole shoe will make your feet work harder. But I think if you've got something like an MDM which has the arch support, that's already going to make you work your intrinsic muscles in your feet a bit more. So these shoes are like just so flat, like there's no, there's nothing in them. There's no support. But if you like that kind of feel, like kind of like naked feel, <laughs> then um, these might be a really good choice for you. So like I said, this is the sand color and this is the theatrical pink. So these are pretty much brand new. I think I've only worn them once. Um, I just don't think I have any ballet tights that actually are this super light pink color. So that's why I just find it hard to wear. But I do love the feel of these. These are by far the lightest shoes I own. So. They're just super easy to just put on. Um, they are comfortable when I'm dancing, just for all like coaching for one or two classes. Um, I wouldn't wear them for like an intensive or anything like that because I just feel my feet would just get a little bit sore in these. So there you go, block performers. All right, moving on, um, I do have these Merlet flats as well. So let me grab them out. I think I have two styles of these ones and they're in two different colors. So it's kind of similar to the block ones I have. So you can see that I clearly love my skin tone type shoes and I think it's just because I don't wear tights and I like to finish my line. I've said this heaps of times in heaps of videos, <laughs> but I like to finish my lines, which means I like shoes that kind of match whatever leg wear I'm wearing. Um, so if I'm not wearing tights, I'll wear these to match. If I am wearing tights, I will wear I think a lot of my tights are MDM brand, so they match my MDM shoes perfectly. So I normally would wear my MDM shoes with tights. Um, I wear my leather ones for intensive. So it, it just really, really depends. What I don't love doing is wearing, because you can get like black ballet shoes or white ballet shoes. Um, and to be honest, like, <sighs> I don't want to offend anyone, but I'm not a fan of wearing like black tights with like pink shoes. I just think, it cuts of your leg and it cuts of your line. It just doesn't look as aesthetic and clearly I am just in love with aesthetics. So, but it's everyone's own choice on what they want to wear. So it's totally fine. But just for me, I like to just match my leg wear to my footwear. I just think it looks really clean. So back to these melee shoes. I think I have these, these are called the Sybil and these are called the Soli. So these are slightly different, okay? They're both the split sole, they're both the stretch canvas, they're both relatively light shoes. I think the Solis is lighter, yeah. 
um, and they both come with the elastic sewn on. I really like the Merlet elastic because it's actually really soft compared to some of the other elastics. Um, I find the MDM one, like it's a little bit tougher, but I mean, it doesn't feel that bad on your feet. But the Merlet is noticeably softer in their um, elastics. You'll see when I put these on that unfortunately they are both a little bit too big for me. Um, but they are really, really lovely shoes. I would love it if they fit because they are similar made to the block in terms of like the vamp. So there's, they should be sort of a lower profile shoe. Um, there is nice stretch in the top bit there. This canvas is relatively stretchy, not as stretchy. Uh, I don't know. It is pretty stretchy. Not as stretchy as the block, but still stretchy enough. And so this Sybil shoe is pretty interesting because it's got elastic um, where the arch is to provide that extra support so it hugs your feet a bit better. So they look different at the bottom because this one just kind of has that elastic there. Um, so I think that's a really, really good feature. I really wish they um, fit me a bit better because then I could properly try them out. I'll show you what they look like on. They're okay, but you can kind of see the bagginess, especially when you compare it to something like the MDM, which really just fits the feet very nicely and sucks it all in. So, yeah. All right, well. Oh, last thing before I forget, I've also got my block socks here. I am in love with these and I really want to try some more compression socks as well. So these are really good for, again, long days. I love them for coaching. I love them because I can go from stretch to pre-point to bar to PVT wearing these socks. Um, so these are the compression socks and they have like arch support built in. They've also got what they call brake lines, which are like, you know, little sticky bits on the socks that kind of helps you with the grip on the floor. Um, these are also... They must be like the sand color. They're very similar to the flats. And so they really blended with my feet. I initially was just using them for contemporary when we went in lockdown and I was going to class. But now I've also started to use them for ballet and coaching and stuff like that because I really, really love them. They provide so much support. They're just so comfortable. On days when you just don't feel like putting ballet shoes on, they're just such, such a great option. All right. Let's get into it. Let's start trying all those shoes on so you can see what they look like on my feet. hope you enjoyed that video. 
Um, I hope that helped you make some decisions on what kind of shoes you want to get as your very first ballet flats. I know it's overwhelming because there's really so much to think about. If you ever have any questions, feel free to DM me. My DMs are always open to the community. I hope to see you soon. Bye!